Time now for our ongoing series, Born in the USA, highlighting American business success stories. And today we are throwing the spotlight on a company that's been called a pioneer in the now $2.3 billion cold press juice industry. Founders Jody Levy and Harlan Berger launched Watermelon Water just three years ago with a simple idea in mind, a healthy yet delicious drink that helps customers understand the importance of clean eating, meaning no preservatives or added sugar. Watermelon Water uses watermelons that would otherwise, get this, be discarded for cosmetic reasons. Yes, ugly watermelons. It's a win-win for them and for farmers who are able to turn a loss into a profit. The company has made quite a mark in a short time catching the eye of, yes, one of the world's biggest superstars in the process. Earlier this year, Beyonce became a major investor in the company, saying, quote, this is more than an investment in a brand. It's an investment in female leaders, fitness, American farmers, and the health of people and our planet. Joining me now is Watermelon Water co-founder Jody Levy. Jody, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me, Tamron. The Queen Bee decides yeah. to invest in your company. Tell me how that happened, or what can you tell me about it? Well, it was very serendipitous. Um, we launched our product in late 2013 with Whole Foods mm -hmm. and the opening of the Gowanus Brooklyn store, yeah. which got pushed and pushed and pushed until December 13th. And on that same day, Beyonce dropped her track, Drunk in Love, <laughs> which of course ends in the lyrics, I've been drinking watermelon, yeah, yeah. which started a very amazing connection between us and her um, firm Parkwood yeah. and led to her attention on our mission-driven business. And as we started talking more and more and sharing the story and, you know, me being a female entrepreneur and our connection to supporting American growers and using waste melons to press, you know, cold pressed juice, um, we decided to go into business together. I mean, when you think about it, I, yeah, so much of our food obviously is visual, but to know that farmers lose profits because we don't want a fruit that has a blemish, perfectly edible, delicious, all of the great goodness, but it doesn't look perfect. Yeah. And the they ugly, lose money because of it. That's the thing. And the ugly fruit movement is gaining awareness. Yeah. And we're, you know, proud to, to be part of that. Um, for watermelons, it's a little bit different than other produce. Watermelons are 18 to 24 pounds. Yeah. So with other fruits and vegetables, they can ship to a retailer and they can kind of be discarded out. But for the watermelon growers around the country, when they have 250,000 tons of sunburned melons that they know aren't gonna be sold, we can press them into perfectly good, highly functional hydration. All right, I'm gonna get hydrated because I've had a long day <laughs> and I was drinking last night, like Beyonce. So, and I have to give a shout out to Luling, Texas, my hometown, which is famous for the Watermelon Thump Parade and I was the uh, Grand Marshal a year ago. Amazing. It's delicious. Thank I'm you. I'm gonna drink this whole thing because I really was drinking last night. Thank you, congratulations yeah, on this. Thank you so much. I'm sipping watermelon juice. We'll be right back.